killed more young Americans than COVID. And that's completely lost in this discussion. Yeah, it, it, we're, you know, here in America right now, we're going through this almost opioid uh, epidemic for the past two years. It was really driven by COVID-19 and, and the lockdowns. We saw a uh, depression really ripe up in, in Americans of all ages, but especially uh, young people. Right now, Americans age 18 to 45, the number one cause of death right now is fentanyl. Uh, in one year, we have over 100,000 Americans died uh, to opioids. So right now, we should be actually going through the age education process and also helping those folks uh, in the lower classes and middle classes that are struggling right now getting back to work or getting jobs with real wages. You know, it seems like the money could be better used to get in helping those Americans than making it easier. And, you know, right now, with the lack of Border Patrol um, enforcement by the federal government, we're going to continue to see the fentanyl coming in. I was even looking at some stats that just in South Texas alone, uh, in one fiscal year of 2021, Border Patrol agents saw an increase of over a thousand percent of the fentanyl making its way into the country. And that's only counting South Texas. So uh, it's, it's some scary numbers of what's going on, but we should be educating Americans right now. The dangers of, of, of these drugs, is, but instead of making it easier to do them. Yeah, and Border Patrol agents uh, who are speaking out, they talk about the issue of how uh, much drug is actually uh, brought across the border. And, and obviously we've talked about what they found, but what have they not found? You're not gonna catch everything that comes through. And so that's just another consequence uh, of having open borders, if you will, and Team Biden is nowhere to be found. Uh, Kamala Harris, again, uh, border czar. She's now blaming Congress for what's going on at our southern border, which is totally absurd. Yeah, and right now the root causes, which Kamala Harris and President Biden still have not figured out, have really just been in the Remain in Mexico policy. You know, under, under Donald Trump, what really deterred the illegal immigration was that if migrants come in illegally and looking to seek asylum, they had to remain in Mexico. So this actually hurt the illegal immigration, but also the drug cartels and human smuggling groups that are making a profit off these off these uh, migrants who are desperate to come into the country, taking full advantage of them, uh, charging them up to six thousand dollars in smuggling fees, and some of these migrants who can't afford them essentially become indentured servants in the United States. Um, so right now, that funding could be used there, but r but right now it's been an absolute failure at the, at the border, and it seems like the numbers are getting worse. Just in twenty twenty one. Border Patrol agents apprehended 2 million migrants, and that's not even counting the number of Godaways, which is it's a lot scarier. It might be closer to 2.5 million. And so far, uh, according to the facts and figures, it looks like 2022 might be an exact repeat of 2021. Yeah, that's just terrible.